hi guys welcome back to my channel thanks for everyone who is checking out this video thanks for everyone who has subscribed liked or shared a video in the past i really appreciate your support today i am here with another skincare mask review and it is another sheet mask it's the yes to tomatoes clear skin detoxifying charcoal paper mask um the last mask that I tried out, the last mask that I tried out was the Too Cool for School um, egg cream mask. And I had the thing way on my lip, like, oh my gosh, I'll link the link below. I'll copy the link below to that video, but it was a hot mess. But that mask was moisturizing. This mask is detoxifying. And I do have dry skin, so this does scare me a little bit. I'm just going to be honest with you. But, you know, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I am getting some hormonal acne, you know, like when it's around that time of the month. And for the most part, my skin is clear, but you can probably see I kind of get some hormonal acne here and a little on my cheeks just when it's and like on my forehead here when it's that time of the month. And so I'm gonna try this out. I have to let you know that I did receive this free of charge from Influencer for testing purposes. And so I didn't pay for this mask. They actually sent it to me. But if I was to pay for it, it would cost $2.99, $2.99. And it says yes to your new favorite LBM, Little Black Mask. Formulated with charcoal to detoxify and clean pores, the single-use Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask is perfect for those times when your skin needs a serious deep cleaning. So that's why I'm trying it. Um, really unfold, apply mask to clean skin, adjust around the eyes, nose, and mouth. This time I'll try not to get it all on my lips. You know, just saying, just saying, I'm going to try to get it, like, where the holes are. Um, that's what he said. <laughs> anyway, um, close your eyes and relax for 10 minutes. Remove mask. Tingling? Yes, it's working. So, normally, tingling, to me, means drying. Am I the only one who thinks that? Um, so, we'll try it out. And it's paper. Just like most sheet masks, they are goopy, but I don't think this one is not as like goopy as that egg cream one. That one was like the stuff was dripping everywhere. Um, this one does not come with any type of um, wire like that one did. So it's, I have to be very careful with this um, not to tear it. It smells like men's cologne or like men's aftershave. It has a nice scent to me. I like that smell. Um, it's cold. <laughs> um. Okay, there we go. And it's tingling already. I can feel it. I haven't even gotten all the pieces <laughs> down yet. Okay. And it's really tingling. Um, what is this flap for? That guy. So, see you in a bit. Ten minutes. Hi, Boss Beauties. I am back. I'm going to take this mask off. Um, it's actually been about 13 minutes. I went over. I was on the phone. Um, the mask held up really well. Um, as you can see, there is no tearing, um, and it's actually pretty sturdy. So, um, this is one of the sturdier, um, sheet masks that I have used. So that is good. It's nice, high quality. As you can see, I'm really pulling on it. So my fear of tearing it earlier was... Unfound. It was for nothing. Now, I don't know if this is the type of mask that you're supposed to massage the serum into the skin or you're supposed to rinse your face. So I'm going to do a little of both. I'm going to massage it in 
first um and make sure it really gets into the skin and then i'm gonna wipe my um face off with a warm towel i just um <laughs> i just wet this with warm water i will tell you that my face is still tingling especially my upper lip it tingled the entire time it didn't it never stopped uh, and it's still tingling now and that kind of scares me i don't i don't know what i'm expecting to happen from it but i thought at least after wiping it off taking the mask off it would have stopped but it hasn't so I would say I probably would pass on this mask I don't see a significant difference in pores or or anything like that um This is my face afterwards. There's a light right above me. So if I'm looking a little bright, that is why I don't have a high filter on or anything to fake how my skin is looking. Like my upper lip is still burning right here. And that scares me. I'm like, am I gonna break out? I don't think so, but I don't like that it's still stinging. So what I would suggest is that you just get a clay mask for deep cleansing. Um, I prefer the Glam Glow um, mask, the one that's gray and it has the specks in it, everything. That one really cleans down to the pores. It does tingle like this one, but after you take that off, you don't feel it anymore. It is hella expensive. I'm telling you, go get something that's $60 and this was $2.99. But there are other clay masks out there. I know that L'Oreal makes one. I think that one retails for about $12.99 or is it $7.99? Somewhere in there, less than $15. This one, um, I just... I don't know. I don't see any remarkable change in my skin. And I actually left it on a little longer than suggested. My skin is very smooth. I will say that it feels much smoother than before I put this on. Um, in terms of my pores and the cleanliness around my nose, I feel like I still would use like a Biore strip on my nose. I don't feel like, maybe it's just on my nose where I don't feel like it was effective. Now it's time for moisturizer because I do see, if you see here, some dryness is coming on my face and around my upper lip. So it's getting dry here. This is my review um, after testing out this mask. I'm going to stick to more moisturizing masks. If I do sheet masks, I like them to be for brightening or moisture so that it really seeps into the skin. Um, detoxifying mask, I think I'm going to stick with more of a clay-based um, mask instead of instead of this but it retails for $2.99 I do like the consistency of the mask itself and how taut it is you can pull it and it doesn't tear um, I really really like that a lot um, but as for the ingredients I'm going to say it was a no for me um, thanks guys thanks influencer for sending this my way free of charge for review but it was not something that I would purchase even just for $2.99. Um, until next time, be blessed to be a blessing. Bye, Girl Boss Beauties.